Hi, it's Strong here. It's English weekly English speaking practice. So I'm gonna make a not quick video because, but I don't have any topics for the video. So I'm gonna read some article that I find, I search and pick up. It's about potassium because I, I, I have searched for it because uh, I have to take some medicine that has potassium in it. So I was wondering what potassium uh, does to our body or it has some uh, benefits or healing to our bodies, some, something like that. So I'm going to read the article for you and for me, for myself as well. Uh, maybe I'm going to read uh, only the uh, section title. I, I don't know how to call it. Okay, let's read it. From the website Healthline. The article name, What Does Potassium Do to Your Body? A detailed review. The importance of potassium is highly under it's estimated this mineral is classified as an electrolyte because it's highly re reactive in water. When dissolved in water, it produces positively, char cha positively charged irons. It's a little bit nervous. I have never read something in front of the camera. <laughs> You wouldn't believe it. Uh, this special property allows it to conduct electricity, which is important for many processes throughout the body. Interestingly, a potassium-rich diet is linked to many powerful health benefits. It may help reduce blood pressure and water reten retention, protect against stroke, and help prevent osteoporosis and kidney stones. Uh, this article provides a detailed review of potassium and what it does for your health. Okay. Next section. What is potassium? Potassium is the third most abundant mineral in the body. It helps the body regulate fluid, send nerve signals, signals, and regulate muscle contractions. Roughly 98% of the potassium in your body is found in your cells. Of this 80%, it's found in your muscle cells. <clears throat> uh, while the other 20% can be found in your bones, liver, and red blood cells. Once inside your body, it functions as an electrolyte. <clears throat> when in water, an electrolyte dissolves into positive or negative ions that have Iron, iron, ions, ions. There is no R in the word ions, but I mispronounced as iron. <laughs> okay, let's continue a little bit. Uh, when in water, the electrolyte dissolves into positive or negative ions that have the ability or conduct electricity potassium ions ions can potassium ions carry a positive charge okay 
your body uses this electricity to manage a variety of processes, including fluid, balance, nerve. The battery, the the camera battery is dying. Okay. <clears throat> uh, your body uses the this electricity to manage a variety of processes, <clears throat> including fluid balance, nerve signals, and muscle contractions. Therefore, a low or high amount of electrolytes in the body can affect many crucial functions. Summary, potassium is an important mineral that functions as an electrolyte. It helps regulate fluid balance, nerves, nerve signals, and muscle contractions. Okay, from this point on, I'm gonna read only the uh, title of the section because it, it's it, it could be so long for the video and it's gonna be boring, you know, <laughs> more much more boring. So this next section is <clears throat> it helps regulate fluid balance. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna read the, the summary of the section. This summary of the section, it helps regulate fluid balance section. The summary is, fluid balance uh, is affected by electrolytes. Many potassium and sodium, eating a potassium rich diet can help you maintain a good fluid balance. Okay, next section. Name. Potassium is important for nervous system. Its summary is this mineral plays an essential role in activating nerve impulses throughout your nervous system. Nerve impulses help regulate muscle contractions, the heartbeat, reflexes, and many other processes. Next section, name. Potassium helps regulate muscle and heart contractions. Its summary is, potassium levels have a significant effect on muscle contractions. Alter levels can cause muscle weakness, and in the heart, they may cause an irregular heartbeat. Next section, name, health benefits of potassium. Okay. I'm gonna read the sub section name. Uh, point one, may help reduce blood pressure Point two, may help protect against strokes. Point three, may help prevent osteoporosis. I'm not sure I'm, I was reading, pronouncing this word correctly. Osteoporosis. Let's moving on. Uh, point four, may help prevent kidney stones. Point five, it may reduce water retention. Huh? Reduce? Okay. The summary of this section is a potassium rich client diet, a, a pot potassium, oh come on, a potassium rich diet may reduce blood pressure and water retention protect against strokes and help prevent osteoporosis and kidney stones. Next section name. <coughs> Sources of potassium. 
you can get it from beet greens, cooked jams, baked pinto beans cooked, white potatoes baked, uh, portobello mushrooms grilled, avocado. There's a number of milligram number on it, but I'm not gonna read it because it's gonna be confusing. Uh, you can get it from sweet potato baked, spinach cooked, kale, salmon cooked, bananas, peas cooked. Okay, the summary of this section is potassium is found in a variety of fruits, vegetables, and fish like salmon. Most health authorities suggest getting 3,500 to 4 thousand so one hundred milligram of potassium daily. Next section name consequences of too much or too little potassium. Let's go right to the summary. The summary is potassium deficiencies or excess rarely occur through the diet. Despite this maintaining and educate potassium intake is important for your overall health. The bottom line, the last, the last section, the bottom line. I'm going to read in the section through the end. Potassium is one of the most important minerals in the body. It helps regulate fluid balance, muscle contractions, and nerve signals. What's more, a high potassium diet may help reduce blood pressure and water retention, protect against stroke, and prevent osteoporosis and kidney stones. Unfortunately, very few people get enough potassium. To get more in your diet, consume more potassium-rich foods such as beet, greens, spinach, kale, and salmon. Okay, that is the end of the article, which is not so short, but I was just read only the uh, section header and all of its summary. So that's it for my practice and um, from making this video and okay we'll see you next time bye the battery the battery is dying